Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Deep. And look, this is our 3,000 subscriber celebration. <laughs> a nice glass of water. How's everybody doing? Actually, we've had a few numbers that we've crossed. Uh, we got our 3K subs. We are just past our 300th whiskey episode. And my channel was around for years before with early quadcopter videos and things like that. And we are at 900 and 99,000 and 800 and something. So we're just about to pass a million uh, views as well. So that's fun, isn't it? But um, what are we going to drink? <laughs> hmm. Actually, water is pretty good. It's, a very hot day. it's super hot. I'm going to be sweating by the end of this. We've got quite a few things to get through. We've got some unboxings. Uh, we've got some new blind bottles that I need to tidy up. But we're going to be doing some port finish roundup. No, custom port finishes because Jeremy, Sipper Social Club, is in. Are you in, Jeremy? Sipper Social Club. If you don't know Jeremy's Sipper Social Club, make sure. Well, actually, link's in the description because what I want to do is play a little video explaining what Jeremy's been doing. But uh, before before I do that, let me just see. Is everyone in? Everyone seems to be in. I see that there were a few names uh, that are catching us for the first time live. So welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, okay, we'll we'll talk more about the chat in a little bit. So where's my list? I'm lost already. you. Right, Jeremy's in. We'll play a little movie and then we will uh, have some whiskey. Okay, have one minute of Jeremy. Zipper Social Club, here we go. Hey, welcome to Zipper Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I'm gonna to walk you guys through how to barrel finish your own whiskey. Uh, the process is pretty simple. You get a barrel, you grab a wine. In this case, I'm using Taylor Frigate Port. You let that sit in the barrel for about six to eight weeks. Um, you dump it out, then you've got your nice seasoned barrel ready to go. You find a scotch. In this case, I'm using Lagavulin an eight-year-old. I feel like with, uh, with ex-bourbon, you kind of have like a, a clean kind of canvas that will pick up the port a lot better than let's say if you use like a Glendronic or something like that. So I'm gonna try to do this without spilling any. See the color of this. Just from two and a half days in here, it's picked up all the color. You talk to people in distilleries, they always say, you know, all the color comes in the first, you know, couple months of maturation. Send them down, Jeremy. Yes, here they are. Special effect just for you, Jeremy. I know you like those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we have here. So. Oh, Octomore. No, nope, done that one. Where is it? And Lagavulin 8. So there's a really great video. Go and uh, look at the links to Jeremy. Uh, so what he's really doing is he's taking something like a Lagavulin 8, ex-bourbon, and putting it into a little barrel, which has had port for two months to season it. But amazingly, only a couple of days to, to take on the port finish, but there's a whole lot involved in doing it. So um, it's time to pour. It's not really gonna be a blind tasting, is it? Why don't we just, we could do a little, oh, I know what we could do. If I, if I mix them up. <laughs> oh, now I've seen them. We could, we could kind of have a little, a little blind. I'm still seeing them. Right. I'm going to put them in this order. Don't look. I'm hoping you can see that. Okay, now you can look again. Oh, don't look at that video. <laughs> oh, look at the color. Oh, mm. In fact, I'm going to move it aside. I'm probably going to end up seeing these by mistake. Let's see that color pour. Can we see it? 
Oh, it smells good already. Fantastic. We could do the shake test, couldn't we? See what ABVs we're getting. Oh, that's okay. You can, you can, you can look. They forgot about it. <laughs> Sorry. So these are the three. Oh, the color, beautiful color. It's the color of a rose wine. So they're in this order. I hope you can see them. <sighs> okay. I think I should check. Get oh. that now. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know deep as death. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> <laughs> you know masks and lip reading is going to be really hard for Deepa. Okay, I'm going to let these get a little bit of air. Should we do a little shake? Should we do a little shake test? Let's see about the ABV. Um, no, I don't want to look, do I? That's right. I can't see the label from this angle. Ooh, that is high ABV. Big bubbles, but maybe young. There's some uh, long lasting bubbles. Oh, and that's a lighter one. <laughs> right. You, you have a nose. And I'll have a look at the chat. Who's in the chat? Let's see. We bring some chat up. Let me scroll up a little bit. I'm sure I've missed lots of people. Now I'm trying not to see my own uh, my own camera on the side there, showing me which order they're in. I'll just start here. Lucky Luciano, sip or die. <laughs> what a great cap. Who else? Only Port and Fino so far. Sipper Social Club. Jeremy's uh, been experimenting. But you've been doing this a few years, right, Jeremy? Aladdin, this is really fascinating. I'm very excited to see this play out. Yeah, I'm excited as well. Um, yeah, Sunday evening scotch. We could have labeled things, but I wasn't really planning to do it blind. I thought it would just be, um, we'll just taste them. Right. Colors look really amazing, Aladdin is saying. Yes. You know, we do have... No, nope. I've got the Ralphie bottle somewhere. What have I done with it? Oh yeah, it's here. We could maybe have a go at the Ralphie bottle and there's a Glen Morangy um, Quinta Reuben also. Uh, this one's for you, Jeremy. I'm not going to taste it alongside the <laughs> the Springbank 21, but I think um, this was a port and rum finish, the 2019 version that we both definitely loved. And uh, Rob in the Six loved it as well. Yes, port. But I know there's some rum barrels in that as well. So maybe a little inspired by this. Who knows? Right. Where are we up to? Okay, got that, got that, got that. Are you excited? Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you getting much peat? You this one. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So I'm getting the peat underneath, underneath, but there's this lovely, rich, fruity <laughs> wine on top. Ooh, a bit cooling on the nose. Oh, this, <laughs> this one is sweeter, isn't it? More malty underneath. Give you a quick reminder. And just to, just to let them see which ones we're looking at. And um, this one is softer, more subtle. Oh. I cannot make up this one. Yes. Not so much peat. It's softer than this. Not so much peat on here. So maybe we should start here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to add water, but I'm going to take a sip. Oh, I'm excited. Sipper's, Sipper's Social Club sip. Mm. Jeremy's saying the 2019 Springbank 21 is so nice. 45% port, 55% rum, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, uh, the first one. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. Now, the port isn't like crashing on top of everything. Beautiful. I'm getting very dish honey. Rich honey on your tongue. Oh, hang on. Something's happening now. What's happening now? Yeah, it's sort of... I'm getting dirty. Multi OT, but honey as well. Oh, we're going to have to pour more. I want to leave them to sit for a little while. But I can we'll only come go even the eight or split back then. But not too much peat, right? No, it's stopped. But... No, not too soft. Okay, we're going here next. Let me take some water first. The finish is so soft. Okay. Oh, that's like um, that's like Isle of Barley. It's got those Isle of Barley multi farmy. Oh, it's very thick viscosity. It's very disgusting. Yeah, but beautifully very very. Wow. That, that's uh like deep and rich, isn't it? Oh, it's smoke. <laughs> so the first thing I got was this lovely um Isle of Barley type of maltiness, and then I got the the whininess rolling in and then I got like these waves of then the smoke to finish mm. but really nicely integrated oh this is fantastic uh Brian I just poured a bit of that Springbank 21 oh this one Brian where's it gone oh this is in our blind tasting nice malted in Montreal is in nice King Jacked I'm going to have to search your page for them since I've been following, I haven't seen you do any. Oh, you were obviously talking about something else in between. So, I got for the eight. I split back then. I've got, I've got this one as the winner so far. <laughs> okay, middle one. Middle one. Let's see. Oh, that's a, that's a bit lighter. Um... It's malty as well, Ooh, though. The milk. A little simpler. I think this one is the most complex. Well, uh, I think it's the most seed. It's very thick. I think this uh, one... Uh, <laughs> this one just happens to hit our flavour profile with that maltiness. I, I like oh, the third very much. Oh, fantastic. Oh. I know that. No, I gave no we're going to leave them for a little bit. And we're going to come back. Give them a chance. We'll make our guesses later. Okay. Right now, this I'm one. I'm going to get my most we come. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to come back. <laughs> For me, the order is probably three, two, one. I think. What about you? I need to try it again. Yeah, I know what that means. That means there'll be nothing left in the glass. That's why I left some in the bottle. In case Deepa, you know, has one more sip. Right. <laughs> Hold on. We're, we're going to come back to them. A uh, little bit of, a little bit of uh, homework. If you see the spreadsheet, you know, we put the spreadsheet up when we're doing our blind tasting. You might have spotted that Brookladdy Black Art was on the spreadsheet. And... When we were doing our new bottles, which was the previous Tuesday, whatever it was, and we were all picking different bottles, I forgot to tell you what my 10th bottle was in all the excitement. And so I've decided that um, Black Art is now going in. And seeing as we'd put in Craig Ellicky 17. I'm telling you, I'll pre finish. But need it. Very smoky. Oh. Very, oh. Yeah, it is good. As we put in Craig Ellicky 17, I thought we should also put in the 23 because we have tasted it in our Japanese blind tasting. And then I, I, I had forgotten, but I also realized I've got an old malt cask Craig Ellicky, <laughs> which made me think that, well, we should put that in as well. So three more blind bottles, very classy ones, will be going in. What and is the spectacular? Yeah, so let me let me refresh this little story here. So Craig Ellicky 23 is weirdly priced in the US. You can find it for 
under $250. I know that's expensive, but in the UK, it is $400 equivalent or 450. Uh, Australian dollars, I saw it for 800. I don't know what it is in, in Canada, Jeremy, but I'm sure it's hideous price there. For some reason in the US, it's cheap, cheap. And I wondered if maybe it's all stock and the price is going to go up. So I thought, I'm going to order two more bottles. And this box, this box arrived and I was like, great, wait a minute, what's that? See that color difference? I was like, is this just some weird old bottling? So hang on, what was the other one? And I was pretty confused what it was. And it is a 23 year old. Um, and I opened it to look, and I was like, look at the color of this. Now, what does the normal one look like? I mean, the normal one, obviously it does have some sherry in, but it's not the, it's not the dark red that this is. Jeremy, you're saying it's 525 in Canadian. Yeah, there you go. So this one, let's see, maybe I can just do it on the close up here. Not quite in focus, but it's an exceptional cask. And this is 23 years in first fill sherry. And it's one of 396 bottles and a bit of research. It's also 57 and a half percent compared to 46 on the regular one. And um, a bit of research tells me it was a one off for the US market. There's a travel retail that's similar, but it's 46 percent and it's a vatted batch. And um, this sells for about 300 dollars in the US. So I haven't talked to the people who sent it to me. Actually, Melissa, it was that link I left you. It was Remedy, Remedy Liquor. And I'm trying to decide what to do with it <laughs> because we are generally not the biggest fans of the full on Sherry Monster, are we? Yeah, but I'm so, so hooked. So what do you think we should do? <laughs> we could, I mean, we could open it <laughs> and see if we like it. <laughs> yeah, open <laughs> So think about that while we do some other stuff. Should we open it? Yes, but for I wasn't asking. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> I was asking them. Fifty-seven point five percent. Twenty-three year first fill sherry. Twenty-three years in first fill. Oh, right. Um. You have another sip now. Mm. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm going to quickly try and catch up on some chat. Let's see. Brianne. Oh, yeah. You just poured some of that. Graham Fraser, You're saying Balvini Caribbean rum finish is really nice. Oh, I think we did have that in our original 24. Yeah, I do remember liking it. Um, Melissa is asking, which one do we think is the higher ABV? I think... Um, Big bubbles that disappear quick, I think, is the highest. It's actually like a freaking egg. We got more of it. Soft. Okay. Deep is in for making guesses. Lagavulin is heavily peated, though, remember? Your choices are Springbank 10 with port, Lagavulin 8 with port, Octomore with port. I must be well, it should Octomore. be Octomore. I think it's okay. But Octomore. Springbank 10 or Lagavulin 8. Well, Springbank 10, you know, Springbank 10. Lightly peated, very lightly. Uh, okay, quickly, let me read down. Let's see. You can always send it to me. <laughs> I'll let you know if it's any good. Yes, Brendan, I know. Yes, open it. There's, we're getting some open it's. Yeah, why not, why not? Okay, open it and if you don't like it, I'll buy it off you, says Aaron. Open it, open it, okay. What the input at the same well, they're only having a couple of days in the port. We got it for this. The Santa Bar is fat. Um. I'm going to. Oh, do you want to open it? <laughs> okay, we're going to open it, pour some, and we'll come back to it right at the end. OK, 
Okay, that was a lot. How are the bubbles? Strong. Strong bubbles. Okay, let's set that aside. I think I'm uh, very unused to a very uh, amber. Amber? Yellow. I'm going to... It's a very yellow. Let's just put a little, uh, a little drop in. Sorry, Jeremy. We'll get back to you. Just want a little open it up kind of drop. Now it's 57%, so. All right, let's put that out of the way. Forget about that. <laughs> well, it's open now. We could always send one back, I guess. My turn for my second, my second sip. I, I forgot I was buying it. I'm going in the same order because I think this is lower ABV. <laughs> yeah, well, it is open. Keep one and return one. Yeah. Okay. I feel middle is the most every beat. It's beautiful, but this one is very soft. Approaching. So I'm on. I have to very much. I'm on this one. And yeah, it's softer. There's almost a little bit of like orange rind or something that comes in later. Sort of woody orange rind. At that boat, we can see the boat, but beautifully integrated. Um, not much peat. No. But there is a lovely, there is a lovely nose on that. Sort of savoury herb. Oh, it's a little bit of toffee to it. A little bit of sweetness. Okay. Is that a pocky dough? Let's, let's see if I get anything anything back. We're going to save some for relaxing drinking later. Okay, final sip. It's blue. I, I'm sorry to take that off. Oh, I'm getting the hurt of uh, uh, candy. Ah, uh, candy. Hard candy? I could say the balance, the balance and integration, lovely on that. Okay, the finish, there's a little bit of oakiness, which I feel it's like, oh, I was having a nice time and that little oakiness just kind of was like, uh, push it back. And I know you said you, um, Jeremy, you were saying that you put the port in, poured it out after four weeks, put a new bottle in to try and knock down the oakiness as much as possible. That's fantastic. I mean, if I was putting that on the shelf, I mean, we're definitely top shelf material mm. here. It's up here. I'm going to I'm going to go center it in the middle on on uh on this one. Minimal peat. It's got to be Springbank 10 for minimal peat. It's also it's also lower ABV. 10 is for ABV 46. Right. Where are we going next? <laughs> uh, okay, go Akamo. I think it's the more. Oh, well, just say the middle one for now. Right, we're going middle. Middle. <sighs> Takes me back to Lagavulin. <laughs> or does it? But if I ever finish the Igapi areas. Well, yeah. Well, Octomore is even younger. Oh, a nice little ashiness to that, though. There's a woody ash mixed in. ABV doesn't seem too strong. No, it's not strong. I'm waiting to see if the ashy finish comes up. It burnt up very soft. Oh. Um. Very smoky. Beautiful see, I'm getting a little bit of the maltiness with a little touch of mint on top of that one. Little bit of mint. Uh, Jasper saying like Jeremy any, is a uh, master. Banana, Someone needs to poach him to be a blender. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Okay, go on, last oh, one. Me. <laughs> hmm. me like Caden it. Jeremy's like Caden head. No, Jeremy's like. Uh, uh, what's Jeremy like? It's like a master blender. This is so interesting, Sunday evening scotch. I have to say, I'm super intrigued by this now. Zipper Social Club, yeah. I think it's very, uh, 
Bold shot is the air I am there. Okay, this is the boldest. But I feel bad for this dude because the dude I really so good. Yeah. Okay, but, but we're probably stepping up in very shouty. <laughs> but okay, this is the most shouty. Mm. Oh, where's that one on the shelf? I've got it ahead. I, I'm gonna put the flip on. Don't um maybe before the deck. Mm. Wow. It is shouty. I didn't have water before at that time. A lot of power. But that lovely maltiness though. I thought it was very, very thick for strategy. On this one. Yeah, very thick. But I love that maltiness underneath oh, it. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, I'm getting mint on that as well though. Okay, this is a good time, I think. Whatever after we get this. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Lemon orangey, Quinta Reuben. Oh, it's got a seal. Oh, it's got a seal on a mini. I'll give you the video. Let's just see if anything holds up. Oh, come on. Come on, bottle cap. Oh, no, we got a, a cap which won't come off. I think I got it. Is it? Well, I have both. Ah, oh, it's spinning. The, the seal hasn't broken. I'm giving both. All right, it's not gonna happen. We'll go with the Ralphie. Ralphie. Oh, is it our support? Yeah. This is 59.9%. Um, See, we didn't get much port on this when we blind tasted it. And it's definitely a lot lighter than what I'm getting from Jeremy's. Oh, nice though. Good power. And more fruity. Quite a nice fruit to it, actually. Mm. Oh, so, that, oh, that, that. I'm going to put Ralphie in. I don't need that all of them even. Probably that's somewhere, all somewhere in the fine. middle. It's the so okay. We got very weak, <laughs> so I'll probably put it. It's very, very. It's almost shotty. It's the so probably. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in between. Okay, this one though. You know, you push off e. Oh yeah, and that's definitely getting the gold. And the, uh, I'm giving it for both. Uh, uh, both e really. Oh, the Lejeg. You know, I was thinking that this reminded me of sort of the power of... I prefer them more than the flaming art. Where's the Lejeg? Put, uh... No, I've got MRC01 here. I prefer them more than flaming art. Okay, Deepa prefers it more than flaming heart, but then we have to rearrange the whole shelf. <laughs> Which of course we do when you're not looking. Okay, a little tiny sip of Port Charlotte MRC01, heavily peated. Now this isn't port, it's wine, but it just reminded me of the kind of power and whiny notes. Let's just see. More sulfury on that. I brought the fuss. Oh, I'm giving it. I'm giving it to yours, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, are oh, we yeah. ready to find out what they are? Let's see. Got that one. Mm, let's see. Mm. Super Social Club. I know what you use for your port finishes. I funny, but on, but this one. We uh, to get oh, that. Ooh, wow. Okay, Jasper's going to give uh, Jeremy some vintage ports to play with. Uh, so, Jeremy, I might have missed it in the chat, but have you. Is the port drinkable after, or is it super oaky or something? I wasn't sure about that. Right. Let's find out what we have. I'm going to say Springbank Lagavulin Octomore. Oh, this is Octomore at this point. It's Lagavulin Springbank. Yeah, I think that's Springbank then. Okay, so we both think this is Springbank. And the bubble shake suggests it's the lower ABV. It is Springbank 10, mm. port finish. Now, nah, but with the do, I do not know. I thought it's the Octomore. I think it's the Octomore. Well, whatever this is, we like it the best. Mm -hmm. And it's 
high ABV with bubbles disappearing. It is the oh, Octomore. Oh, you were right. Now, Jeremy, you call this the Octomore. Wow, wow. You call it the uh, 27.1 because I think this is a sort of a, a vatting of 8.1, 9.1, 10.1. The rest of that is so integrated. Yeah. And so then... Again on Stepping there, no prick. This is the lag of neat. I have to say, I think the Springbank lost out because it didn't have enough peat. And I know in your video you were saying that that, that um, mix of the port and the peat was something that you liked a lot. So, uh, oh, that was great. I really like this by very much. If you don't like that, shut it up. I've got for this. Yeah. So Jeremy, are you interested in trying some Grey Galaxy 23? I've got, I'm waiting for a spring bank um, to send mm. at some point. We'll have uh, to send it back up the whiskey tube. Back up within that beautiful small came through and you put a duck of boat. You keep going. Oh, hang on, fireworks. Oh, it's, it's yes. Worth it. It's worth putting boat in all of them. I think I do deserve some fireworks. You're right. <laughs> Oh, what else have I missed? Those are fantastic. So quite a bit of effort, quite a lot of work there, Jeremy, to do all of this. I mean, watching the video, I know you're, uh, you know, you've had things that haven't worked out. Obviously, you put two months of work into something and then, you know, you taste it and it's terrible. <laughs> but uh, I agree, the ex-bourbon, the blank canvas going with the port on top of that. Lovely. Uh like a fucking egg as beautiful oh, finish mm, we are going to enjoy these <laughs> with our feet up a little bit later fantastic oh lovely you know yeah, after me my production the funny thing is i didn't even realize i'd entered the competition i just left a comment in the video because actually i purposely try to avoid doing competitions because our blind tasting, of course, we don't want to have a taste of something that is in our blind tasting. But if it's worth it. But we're never going to taste these otherwise. And that was fantastic. And I remember someone on the live chat said, you've just won uh, on Jeremy's channel. So, Thank you so much. Fantastic. Okay, what's next? What's if next? If you come on the bar, you will also happy that you won. Oh, good. Hey, Tim, you were actually looking to try some of this, weren't you? Well, now it's open. I think we can arrange that. <laughs> uh, oh, the, Graham is saying the Octomore sample had a red tinge. Let's see. Let's have another look at that. Yeah, the Octomore is slightly more red, isn't it? So Octomore. A little bit more red on the Octomore. I don't know. Oh, Jeremy's saying that the port is drinkable, has added oak influence for sure. I'm not a wine drinker though, so I just toss it. <laughs> Imagine if someone was doing that with whiskey. <laughs> oh yeah, I just toss the whiskey up. Oh, fantastic. The end result shows just how amazing your journey has turned out so far. Congrats. Well, thanks Aladdin. Actually, I was talking to my brother. We were, you know, like everyone else on, um, on uh, FaceTime in this case. And he said he had just finished a bottle of whiskey. He was out camping. I was like, oh, great. What was it? He's like, ah, can't remember. It was just something from the supermarket. So it's like the opposite. Uh, where's my button? It was like the opposite of a supermarket, uh, the opposite of a recycled review. I made him go out and, and pick it up. <laughs> said, get out there and tell me what it was. So he had to go rummaging through his trash. Uh, and it was a Spayburn. <laughs> Cost him £18.50. Is it any good? <laughs> There you go. A little snapshot of my brother Graham who lives. So is it any good? It was good enough for camping. <laughs> Not for me. It was good enough to finish. Right. No, but I am impressed actually by his brother who introduced us to whiskey. Yeah, it was actually my brother who bought us. Not bought us. He gave us our first Bunna Haven 12, yeah. which got us inspired to go to the supermarket. And we bought a Bunna 12 and the uh, Ardmore Legacy. And we finished the Bunna 12 before we'd made any videos at all. 
but that was the start. So you can kind of thank my brother for that. Scotch Buggy. Even, even even stuck in. Is first fill, and other are second fill port finish. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. We have another box. Oh. And Deepa doesn't know what this one is. Let me cut it. I forgot to cut it earlier. Uh, why is this locked? Are we are Don't show our address. People will send us samples. And then are we are done. On time? No, we're like at 40 minutes already. So, the question is, is this what I hope it is? Close your eyes for a minute. Don't forget to tell me. Deeper. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to You know when you look on a website and you see the photo and you think, yeah, but is it really that one? I bet it's from, from Luke. I bet it's from America. Oh! Is it? Is it the one? It is! Oh! It's 2007! It is the 2007. Ah! It's 2007! Oh, I'm gonna slice my own fingers off Oh yeah, another 2007. Fantastic! You have to come over. It is. Oh no. Oh. It's okay. Glen Cairn has saved us. <laughs> we, got, we got too excited. We found. We found it. <laughs> King Jack is saying, "How do you get a new box of whiskey and not open it immediately?" Well, a couple of reasons. Um, we do a little bit of mail quarantine for a day, and I was like, oh. I was like, we have to open this on on a live. Let's put let's put that away. Okay. <laughs> Before we get back to the Craig Ellicky, let's see if a net pour can hold up to what we thought we like about it. <laughs> 2007 neck pour. What is that ABV? 50. 50. It'll be nothing compared to that Octomore. What was that Octomore? Up in the high 50s. Neck pour. Isla Barley. 2007. Oh! Am I seeing, oh, am I seeing wow. a super chat? Oh! This is a great live. Cheers, Phil and Deepa from me and Bree, and cheers to that wonderful Isla Barley 2007. I don't know if I missed it in the in the chat, but you know what this means? You're going to get some gold coins. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! Thanks, Michael. That was fantastic. And Brian. Ah, there it is. I because I was reading it in the ahead chat. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Oh. I'm actually must, I must buy it for... A uh, normal price, about $60. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Yes. Mm. Oh, that is good. Creamy. Mondi. Mm. They definitely get better, but that does not disappoint on the... On the oh, opening. Oh, wow. It's, it's worth it. It's really fantastic. Oh. I mean, I, 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 I still have this though. I'm so hot. <laughs> Dripping. Look. Look how hot this is. Hot California and hot lights and no air conditioning in this house. San Francisco typically doesn't have air conditioning in their older houses. I can hear your laptop spinning up as well. It's getting so hot because it doesn't get that hot for that much of the year. Oh, I was having a great time, but then Deepa got so excited over the Isla Barley 2007 bottles. Now that's having a great time, Aladdin. Yeah, see, Deepa just wants to get back to the to the next whiskey. 
<laughs> oh, you know, Eric Johansson asked a question previously. I don't know if you're in, Eric. I haven't been keeping check. You were asking us, really, is the Flaming Heart better than the Lejeague 13? We did do a little taste about that um, at home. I mean, at home, downstairs. <laughs> and the Lejeague is like, okay, the Flaming Heart is soft and gentle. If you compare it to boxing, the Flaming Heart is like going to a boxer size class where you do boxing exercises. But the Lejeague 13 is like getting in a boxing ring and actually being punched in the face a few times. And so is the MRC01. But for pure enjoyability, that Craig Ele I mean, that uh, compass box is pretty good. My mind's on the Craig Ellicky. So I think for enjoyability, I did rate it higher. <sighs> okay. Brian, love the graphics. Yes. I like those graphics too. Are we ready to try this? How long have we been talking? 45 minutes. Okay. We're going to wrap this up. Thanks everyone and, for watching. Uh, so, Jeremy, thank you very much for sending us those bottles. We can always have a few more subscribers. <laughs> Jeremy, how many subscribers are you up to? I know your Johnny Walker video is still doing ridiculously well. Aren't you at like one and a half million on it or something? <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, more money, 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 money. <laughs> right. More, 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 let's, more. let's clear the glasses because we're going to have a lot of coins coming in here. We don't want to like spill. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Not only do you send us whiskey, but you send us super chat. <laughs> oh, what a great night. Now, okay, let's have a close up. Yeah, that is a pretty dark whiskey. Very uh, amber, very yellow. What do we think? Sort of uh, orange yellow. -ish. I don't think I'm going to like it. That's what's in my mind. I'm saying, first fill sherry, I'm not going to like this. But then I'm thinking, but Krigeliki, first fill no, sherry. Smell, it's very, no, sort of suffer. Oh, okay. Suffer, vanilla, ganem. A little bit sulfury. Ooh. Now it's not, mm. it's not crazy overpowering at this point. Oh, that is strong. Don't, don't sip it oh. until you've had some water because that is going to be power. Right, let's go for a sip. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. the smoke, the suffer. Yeah, that is quite, that is quite sulfury, isn't it? Mm. But, oh, I, I, but sulfury... I keep it both. <laughs> <laughs> when I say sulfury, it's sulfury in a nice matchstick way, which I like a lot, sort of Highland Park. Oh, I'm going for a full sit, full strength. Mundy. Oh, my God. I stop. Suffer is smoky, but in that, is it is it How smoky? can that be 57%? It doesn't feel that so heavy. I have to say. I think it's more of a very dreamy. Uh, Let's see. Let, let me let you read the details for a little while. It's very farmy, suffery. But I, I. Now, can you, get, can you pick up any of the Craigellachy? You know they have their worm tubs. They have that copper finish. My my biggest but, oh, worry. If I start ABV, it's almost burning. My biggest worry with full sherry mature is that you don't get any of the distillery characteristics. You know what's behind it, but I mean, I'll have to spend some time with that. But that is pretty amazing. I've got to say. Hmm. Again. It's really deep. Oh, it's deep. It does not attack you. It's so deep. But it's yummy. So deep, whiny notes. 
Oh, I'm getting an egg type of sulfur. Oh, egg type of sulfur. That doesn't sound I, good. I, 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 I can... Goes a little bit nutty sulfur at the same time. I'm trying to see, can I taste any of that copper? I mean, it's, it's very sherry. It's the sherry. You know what? We're just going to have to order some other 23s. <laughs> I'm going to call Remedy and say, look, we opened one. It's not the same. We still want the 23s. What would you like to do? Okay. I don't mind sherry. <laughs> That's a surprise. Yeah, we put up with the sherry. Let's, let's finish so... off with. Let's go back to the Octomore. Jeremy's Octomore 27.1 port finish. You go first. <sighs> Converted to sherry, James? Mm, pretty good. Let's see if we're converted mm. back to Octomore five year olds. beautifully integrated. Oh. It is so good. I mean, the point of very different profile. The E. I don't want to use the point smooth, but it is. Okay. Wow, you can taste the age. You can definitely taste the age, but it is. It's one dimensional with this massive age and depth to it. This has more directions and is more interesting, but it is younger. But this one is more exclusive. All right, people. <laughs> Thanks again, Jeremy. Fantastic night. Uh, actually, it's our longest live at 50 minutes, but uh, there was a lot to get through. We will see you all. Um, what's the next Thursday. one? Thursday. Thursday, where we will be getting back to Greg's pick of our blind bottle number 77. Perfect combo when you have the Spirit like Craig Ehrlich, you already love so much. Yes, James, it is. All right. Thanks all. Which one are you going to drink on the way out? Okay. You have the Octomore. Mm.